Normally, getting back into Canada is the easiest part of a cross-border trip, but right now you need a PCR test to get back into Canada, so that's what we're gonna go and try and do now. Let's go get our noses picked. Gross. Gross. <laughs> For almost a year and a half, land travel between Canada and the United States was restricted to essential services only. Now the land crossings are open again, but currently, in December 2021, Canada requires anyone who has been gone for more than 72 hours to submit a PCR test before crossing back. So the whole point of this trip is for two reasons. One being a test run for crossing the border with our trailer, and then two to kick off the Christmas season with a trip to Leavenworth. Now we just have to get home. So we got to go get our PCR test. We're going to a drive through. This is our first time ever having to do one of these tests. It's going to be an interesting experience. <laughs> We've arrived. Here we go. Thank you. Here goes the gross part. Oh, it's like There's eye watering. Down. All right. I think we got it. So there we have it. It wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. So yeah, not so bad. Nostrils feel a little bit funny. Yeah, it was super quick, super simple. Now we just need to wait for our results and then as soon as we get them we'll probably just jump to the going home part and you get to see that right now. Benny sit. So we're coming up on the 48 hour mark since we've had our test and been anxiously waiting for the results. I've just noticed that our results have come in through our email overnight. I'm just gonna have some tea while I wait for Jay to get up and then we'll check our results together. Ready, Benny? Alright, good. Time to check the results. Ready? You'll need to enter your date of birth to confirm your identity. All right, I got mine. Not detected. Mine just says negative. So now we'll need to sign on to the Arrive Can app. And if you have a group, you only need one person to fill out the Arrive Can. And you'll need all of your vaccination details, the day you got it, and the type of vaccine that you got. Oh, you're, need, you're gonna need to download your PDF of your results also. Oh. oh and you have, to, you have to create a quarantine plan even if you have a negative test. Does that mean we have to quarantine? No, you just have to show that you have a plan, I guess. In case they tell you that you have to quarantine? I guess, yeah. Okay. With results in hand, we started out. Okay, so our goal today is to get back into Canada. We have had our COVID test. We have it all documented on the Arrive Can app. But just after dumping our tanks at a rest stop, a very nice truck driver told us that our left hand signal on the trailer was out and that's a bit of a problem. Jay's out here trying to come up with a quick fix. He's taken the light bulb from our front fixture. Is it fitting? No, it's a different thingy. We're gonna have to get a new one. All right, got our lights. Is that right. simple? Yep. Now that we could tell people we were turning left again, we continued our short journey to the border and ended up in a big lineup. There was only one lane open and it was moving very slowly. Plus, they hadn't blocked off the Nexus lane even though it was closed, so people kept coming past, trying to go through Nexus and having to back up all the way to the end of the line. After about an hour, it was finally our turn. Unlike crossing into the USA, it's okay to film at the Canadian border. All right, so Jason, it looks like you won the lottery this morning get one of these wonderful take-home COVID test kits. Oh boy. Call FedEx and they'll pick it up from wherever you might be, okay? Can we get FedEx and home? There you go. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Here you go. So you get to do another test. I thought he said you win the lottery. I was like, oh no, we're being pulled over for secondary inspection. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was like, we're going to be here all day. The drive back home took a while since the main highway was still closed from the flooding and landslides. And there was a lot of traffic on the secondary highway. But we eventually made it. We're home now, so I should probably let you go. I so I was randomly selected for an arrival COVID test. How fun is that? They give you this little kit. And it looks like I'm going to have to have a web call as I take the test. So now that I've registered, I just need to book a time for my virtual appointment. 
So I've done my at-home test. Spared you from watching that because it's uh, not that pretty. Now it's all in this little box to ship. But one problem, you might be able to hear the lovely hold music. FedEx doesn't pick up from our address. So they don't have this thing quite down pat, especially for, you know, semi-rural addresses like ours. So it's looking like I'm going to have to drive my test to Chilliwack. That's where the closest shopper's drug mart is that I can drop it off. So it seems like the government didn't really consider rural people and what they're going to do with the test when FedEx won't pick it up and they're kind of far away from somewhere to drop it off. I've got to drive 45 minutes now to drop this thing off. So not the greatest procedure, but hey, I understand they're trying to keep everyone safe. I just got this email today. It says, if you are randomly selected to complete the COVID molecular testing, you're required by law to follow the directions and complete the test. Well, they know that I was randomly selected. It says, we may follow up with you in the next few days to confirm your compliance with this requirement. Two days ago, I completed the test and drove it all the way to a shopper's drug mart so that it could be submitted. Yesterday, I received the negative result. Someone somewhere should have this all on file. So. Canadian government, I feel like you don't quite have this process all together. Little bit of work to be done. But nevertheless, we are now fully back in Canada, fully in compliance, and should be good to go. So there you have it. If you're planning a trip to the States, it's possible, but you need to be prepared. We knew we needed a test before we came back, but we were surprised by the random testing after we returned. Restrictions and requirements keep changing, so it's important to check both the Canadian and US government's websites for the latest. I don't know. I wish we it was more dramatic for you, but it's just not. <laughs> you know you're getting older when you like when you have to enter in your birth year and you actually have to scroll. Mm -hmm. I don't know where to find the downloads on my phone. Go to your file manager. And where would that be? <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not a techie, don't try to cross the border. <laughs> Next stop, RV World or Camping World or whatever it's called. Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.